This tutorial explains how to save and load data objects to and from our data files using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I want to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the workspace that we can create by running lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that we have created three new data objects in our global environment. And these data objects are called data one, data two, and data three. So if we want to export these data to a directory on our computer, we also need to set the working directory. And we can do that by applying the set WD function, as you can see in line six of the code. And within this function, we need to specify the path to the folder in which we want to store our data. So in this example, you can see that I have created an empty directory on the desktop of my computer, which is called my directory. And at this point, there are no files stored in this folder. So if we want to export our data objects to an R data file that contains all the data objects in our workspace. Then we can apply the save image function as you can see in line eight of the code. And within the save image function, we simply need to specify the name of the file that we want to create. So in this case, we want to create a file that is called alldata.rdata. So if you run line eight of the code, you can see in the working directory on the desktop of our computer, that we have created a new R data file, which is called all data. So let's assume that we want to import these data back into the current R session. Then we might first empty our workspace by clicking on this symbol on the top right and by clicking yes. So at this point, you can see that our workspace is empty. However, if we apply the load function, as you can see in line 10 of the code, our data is imported once again. So as you can see after running this line of code, the same data objects are appearing at the top right as we already had created in the previous lines of code. So as you have seen in this first example with the save.image function and the load function, we can write and read our data files within R. However, you have also seen in this first example that we have exported and imported the entire workspace. So in the next example, I want to show you how to save and load only certain elements in our workspace. And we can write only certain elements of the workspace as you can see in lines 12 and 13. So in these lines of code, I'm applying the save function. And within this function, I'm specifying the names of the data objects that I want to export. So in this case, I want to export the data objects data one and data two. So I don't want to export the data object data three. And then I also need to specify the file name of the R data file that I want to create. So in this case, I want to call this file data one and data two dot R data. So if you run lines 12 and 13 of the code, you can see in the working directory on our desktop that we have created another R data file, which is called data one and two. And this file contains only the data objects, data one and data two. So if we want to import this file back into R, we first can empty our workspace and then we can apply the load function as we already did in the previous example. However, this time I'm applying the load function to this new R data object, which is called data one and two. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that some new data objects are imported into the workspace. However, this time we have imported only the data objects data one and data two. So last but not least, I want to show you how to export only one data object to an R data file. And we can do that as you can see in lines 17 and 18 of the code. So in this case, I'm using the save RDS function and I'm applying this function to the name of one data object. So in this case, I want to export the data object data one and I need to specify the file name as I already did in the previous examples. So if you run lines 17 and 18 of the code, 
you can see in the working directory that we have created that a new data object is appearing, which is called single data object. And we can import this R data file back to our studio, as you can see in line 20 of the code. So in this case, I'm applying the read RDS function to the name of our data object. And I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called data one reloaded. So if you run line 20 of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that another data object is appearing, which is called data one reloaded. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.